Music Hall with Edward Everett Horton, Raymond Page and his orchestra, our guests, Joe Stafford, Kurt Massey, and the Four Knights. My name's Les Tremaine, and here is Edward Everett Horton. Good evening, good evening. Oh, did you hear that, Les? That was applause. Oh, that was applause. Wonderful. Wasn't it wonderful? Oh, nice. very nice, yes. Why, this has been an exciting week, hasn't it? Did you read about the reception New York gave General de Gaulle? Oh, sure. What a reception. De Gaulle pinned a medal on LaGuardia, kissed him on both cheeks, and then put him back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, Ed, pretty soon we'll all be seeing great events like that on television. Television? Oh, my. Isn't television wonderful? And so simple, too. Simple? You know how it works? Why, certainly I know how it works. I'll explain it. Concentrate that, would you please? First, there are light waves and sound waves. Light travels faster than sound, naturally. It's lighter, you see. And, and since light waves are lighter than sound waves, why, of course, sound waves are sounder than light waves. That's RFD, or uh, PDQ, uh, QED, yes. Now, to make it clear, I'll pretend that I'm a light wave and you pretend you're a sound wave. Okay, I'm a sound wave. Mm. Do I look like one? <laughs> well, you're the first wave I ever saw with a mustache. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you don't know anything about television, and you should. You should get into it. Why, they'll not only hear you, they'll see your face in every home. Imagine that. My pan in every kitchen. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Why, I'd be part of their daily life, wouldn't I? They'll wash dishes with Horton in front of them. They'll relax with Horton. They'll take a bath with Horton. <laughs> oh, well, that, that doesn't sound right. Does <laughs> Why, right in your own home, you'll be able to have bacon and eggs and at the same time watch Van Johnson make love to Lana Turner. Raymond Page? Ray, did you hear that? Les says that in television, you'll be able to have bacon and eggs while Van Johnson makes love to Lana Turner. Let Van Johnson have the bacon and eggs. I'll take Lana Turner. <laughs> please, 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 go back. Back to your shredded wheat. <laughs> Let's get a girl's view, and there's nothing I like better than to view a girl. Uh, no, oh dear, especially a girl as lovely and as talented as this young lady, the very popular songstress, featured star of a Sunday radio show, known for her many great recordings, the favorite of the G.I.s, Joe Stafford. Joe, tell me, what do you think of television? Well, I prefer the good old movies. I've learned a lot about love in the movies. Oh, watching us actors. No, watching the customers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I went to the movies yesterday to see one of my own pictures. You know, it must be interesting to see yourself on the screen. How did you react? Same as everybody else. I asked for my money back. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that, Eddie. Well, my family has always considered you their favorite actor. They have? Well... Yes, sir, for generations. Oh. <laughs> Joe, I think you'd better sing. Uh, generations. I wonder how many generations she meant. <laughs> I'm gonna love that guy like he's never been loved before. I'm gonna show that guy he's the fellow that I adore. When he's in my arms again, our dreams will all come true. Then the years between never has been We'll start our lives anew I'm gonna kiss that guy Like he's never been kissed before And though I miss that guy He's the fellow I'm waiting for We'll never part again
to kiss that guy like he's never been kissed before. And though I miss that guy, he's the fellow I'm waiting for. We'll never part again, he'll hold my heart again, forever and evermore. I'm gonna love that guy. I'm gonna kiss that guy. I'm gonna love that guy like he's never been loved before. Now. There's a girl with the best kind of singing, and here's a gentleman with the best kind of talking. Talk, gentlemen. At the food store these days, things are certainly looking better for you homemakers. For instance, your dealer probably now has a good supply of Kraft's famous cheese food, Velveeta. Get a package or two tomorrow for snacks and sandwiches over the long holiday weekend. What a joy to again have Velveeta on hand to spread or slice, and to melt in hot dishes. Remember... Velveeta is one of the precious protein foods that can help you so much these days. Look tomorrow for pimento Velveeta and regular Velveeta, both with the rich yet mild cheddar cheese flavor practically everybody loves. Get genuine Velveeta, the cheese food of dependable craft quality. We've all heard about the haunting sounds of the romantic west, the lovely call of the western meadow lark, the wind whistling down the plain, the beautiful rattle of the female rattlesnake. Uh, Eddie, the rattle of the female rattlesnake is not beautiful. It is, if you're a male rattlesnake. <laughs> However, one of the most beautiful sounds to come out of the west is the singing of a tall, handsome young man whose years of broadcasting and recording have made him a favorite with millions, Kurt Massey. Well, uh, Kurt, it seems to me that since the very beginning I've listened to the music of the Massey family. Well, Eddie, I guess music's in our blood. You see, my parents are musicians. We wanted all us kids to be musicians, all nine of us. Nine children? Well, my word. What did you play? Shortstop. <laughs> well, what, what kind of an instrument is it? Oh, oh, shortstop. Oh, yes. Don't tell me. I know, I know. Baseball, I get it. <laughs> oh, my. We had quite a baseball team when I was in school. You did? Yes. Well, uh, what did you play? I eh? played cheerleader. On a baseball team? Oh, no. Please, Kurt. I was cheerleader in the Dramatic Society. We had some wonderful cheers. Would you, uh, would you like to hear one? Yeah, oh, yes, I isn't that encouraging? You know, most people say no. Well, <laughs> here goes the cheer. It, it has to be the right rhythm, you know. Yalaka chunka chanka chee. We're the boys of the fleur de lis. Dramatical society. Ray, Ray, Ray. <laughs> but Eddie, Eddie, the word dramatical isn't grammatical. I know, but it makes the meter neater. But enough about my career. Suppose you sing for us, Kurt. Glad to. There 
Splendid, Kurt, splendid. I suppose that since you came to New York, you missed the wide open spaces. Well, uh, Eddie, I used to long for the old roundup with all the cattle crowding and trampling and rushing around, but, but I don't miss it anymore. Why not? I ride the subways. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I've noticed about the West that I don't like. What's that, Eddie? It's you cowboys, you're too demanding. Demanding? Demanding, that's the word. All cowboys ever do is demand. Look at the song, Give Me a Home Where the Buffaloes Roam. <laughs> they don't want a paper, they want to give it to them free. <laughs> where the deer and the antelope play. Buffaloes aren't enough. <laughs> the deer and antelope, too. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. Suppose you can't even say shut. Huh? <laughs> the skies are not cloudy all day. They don't even want you to fix the weather for them. Eddie, all songs aren't like that. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. What about Give Me My Boots and Saddles? <laughs> give Me Land. Lots of land. <laughs> not just a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. We've got to give them lots of land. Yeah. Don't you cowboys ever buy anything? <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, things are tough all over. That's no issue. Now I'm going to ask you to give me something. What is it, Eddie? A song. Okay, partner. <laughs> If you're romantic, chum, pack up your duds and come to Acapulco. You put your cares in hock and throw away your clock in Acapulco. Or you can be as lazy as a daisy drifting in a blue lagoon. You're wide awake at night because you do your dreaming in the afternoon. You'll get a Latin glow way down in Mexico below the border. 
And in a spot like this, if you refuse a kiss, you're out of order. And when the moon is new, it's like a honeydew. Come on and get yourself a slice. If you can't say Acapulco, then you can call it paradise. When you meet someone you like, you like to have a conversation. When you do not understand it's such a touchy situation. But you mustn't let it bother you, you only have to know. Chica Linda, pretty baby, yo te quiero, I adore it. Yo te quiero, Chica Linda, muchisisisimo. As you're sitting in the sun, you sip a picture up the fire while you listen to a parrot that they call a papagaya. And you learn a lot of phrases that are very apropos. Chica Linda, pretty baby, dame un beso, won't you kiss me? Yo te quiero, Chica Linda, dame un beso, dame lo. You'll need some new borrachas when the mariachas start to play there. And after you depart, I know your crazy heart is gonna stay there. And if I haven't sold you with the things I've told you, then I must repeat it twice. If you can't say Acapulco, then you can call it paradise. When I was a young man, I used to sing. I used to sing a thrilling tenor in a barbershop quartet, and you could always tell which one I was. I was the first mug from the left. <laughs> Just a little shaver, you know. Our voices weren't so good, but there was one thing about us. We were consistent, always out of tune. <laughs> but here, here's a quartet whose voices are remarkably good and who are always in tune. They used to broadcast as the Southland Jubilee Singers, but now they're in New York. They're known as the Four Knights. <laughs> uh, I suppose, <clears throat> suppose one of you Four Knights tell us which night is which. Tonight is Thursday. Oh, dear, nobody, nobody ever takes me seriously. I mean, who is who and who does what in this quartet? I'm John Wallace, first tenor. First tenor? I'm Eugene Orford, second tenor. Second tenor? I'm Clarence Dixon, baritone. Baritone? I am off the Broadway, soprano. <laughs> <laughs> is your name, tell me, is your name really Broadway? That's right. It must be wonderful to be lit up every night. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, wasn't it good? Wasn't it good? <laughs> I say, I made a joke, yeah. Uh, well, Knights, we've heard a lot about your splendid voices and your unusual arrangements, so we'd like to hear a sample. Like, uh, when the moon goes down in the valley of time. When the moon, the moon goes down in the valley of time. Oh, to my love, my love. Oh, to my love. When the sun, the sun refuse to shine. Good Lord, when I restore in the heaven, then come down. When the moon, the moon goes down. When the moon goes down the valley of time, oh my Lord, when the sun, sun refused, yes, to shine, oh, to shine, well, we And when the 
Splendid. That was four men with an inspiring song. Now, here's one man with an inspiring word. For food shoppers, here are some mighty good tidings. Most food stores now have a good supply of Kraft's famous cheese food, Velveeta. Before the long holiday weekend, better get a couple of packages so you'll have golden Velveeta to spread or slice thick for the picnic sandwiches. Or maybe one package will be made into a rich, satin-smooth cheese sauce for some of your victory garden vegetables, or to glamorize leftover meat or fish. Remember, Velveeta helps supply complete, high-quality Protein Plus milk minerals, food energy, vitamin A, and riboflavin. Velveeta hot dishes are splendid main dishes. And I don't think I have to tell you good cooks that Velveeta is the cheese food you can always depend on to melt smooth. Look tomorrow for this favorite cheese food, genuine Velveeta, made only by Kraft. If the children are listening now, I'll bet they'll remind you. Mom, don't forget that Velveeta. Les? Les? Les Tremaine, why are you staring at me that way? Is my nose on crookeder than usual? No, Eddie. I was about to read your mind. I just learned how. Your mind is an open book. Oh, is it? Oh, is it really? Well, don't miss chapter 12. It's a wow. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what you're thinking. All you have to do is tell me the first word that comes to your head. Go ahead. A dime. You're thinking about money. <laughs> That's remarkable. Well, what do you... Well, uh, how much? Ten cents. Oh, it's uncanny. That's, that's uncanny. That's all it is. Try it again. Go ahead. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. I'm thinking about something else. Give me a word. Uh, uh, leg. Male or female? Oh. <laughs> female. Oh, wonderful. That's, that's why I'm so simple. Well, I've got to try it. I've got to try it. Got... Raymond. Raymond Page. Give me the first word that comes to your mind, and I'll tell you what you're thinking. Uh, uranium. That's easy. You're thinking about a flower pot. <laughs> Oh, this is fun, this is fun. I must try it on Joe. Joe Stafford, Joe! Joe? Yes, yes, Eddie? Tell me the first word that comes to your mind, and I'll tell you what you're thinking. All right, uh, Kurt Massey. Kurt Massey? You're thinking about uh, a mink coat. A mink coat? <laughs> well, where'd you get that idea? Oh, it's very simple, it's very simple. Kurt Massey is a singer. Singer is the name of a sewing machine. A sewing machine makes hems. A person who hems and haws is a boar. A boar is also a pig. A pig eats a lot. To eat a lot costs money. Money talks. So do women. Women are crazy about mink coats. Therefore, when you say Kurt Massey, you're thinking about mink coats. Eddie, Eddie, you're remarkable. Am I not? I'm afraid to think in front of you. You are, huh? Well, then how about some singing? How about that other one you know? You know, the, uh, there's no you? I'm all set.
was lovely, just lovely. Now, I don't know what you folks are going to do, but I'm going down to see the new 1946 cars. And if I see a real beautiful model, I'll ask her to have dinner with me. <laughs> but we'll all be back next Thursday, Les Tremaine, Raymond Page and his orchestra, and our guests, the Andrews sisters. All three of them. And Sergeant Johnny Desmond, who sings too, and Joe Engelhardt, he plays the violin, and, uh, 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 well, I guess that's all. Well, except Edward Everett Horton. Who's he? Oh, me! Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Good night. Joe Stafford appeared this evening through the courtesy of the Ford Motor Company. Kurt Massey through the courtesy of Nash Kelvinator. For a variety at mealtime, treat your family to food zestfully flavored with Kraft prepared mustard. Remember, there are two popular varieties. A tangy golden craft salad mustard that's mild and delicately spiced. And a sharper craft mustard with nippy horseradish added. They're both grand flavor treats in sandwiches and on frankfurters and cold cuts. And mighty appetizing, blended into cooked foods, too. Buy both kinds. Ask for craft salad mustard and craft horseradish mustard when you shop tomorrow. <laughs> The National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>